People will always listen to the radio, but it's much more easy to consume music the way you want to consume it by consuming it over the internet. The public has many more options now in audio, and they are choosing many of those options to the exclusion of radio. The world has changed, and KSAN helped to change it. But now, there cannot be a KSAN, at least not on the FM dial. But fortunately, there can be a KSAN elsewhere. It's, it sounds corny, but revolution, change, all that stuff you hear about was in the air. KSAN in San Francisco. Sometimes we do it fast, sometimes we do it slow, but we always do it. Once upon a time in San Francisco, giant demigods of FM radio walk the streets with names like Tom Donahue, Edward Bear, Scoop Nisker, and Dusty Street. KSAN taught me how to put music together. Everyone was able to expand their musical taste and knowledge and pass that on to the audience. We were the soundtrack for the time. The 60s were phenomenal. What we did was indeed reflecting what was happening otherwise in the world. We were doing something that nobody's ever done before. And when you do that, you don't have any rules to follow. You don't have any guidelines. You go ahead and do it, and you find out about your mistakes as you go along. KSAN was such an adventuresome place. It was like frontiers, daily, uh, of things doing on the radio. KSAN was playing long songs. Everybody was playing two-minute, three-minute songs. KSAN was the first one that were playing the long version. I was chilling in the shine and the light night dial Doing anything my radio advised San Francisco was the first place I really set foot in America. And then I got the invitation to go to KSAN, and it was really, I would say, that it probably spoiled me for everything else because there was nothing, of course, quite like it. The main thing I remember from KSAN was when I was trying to get in the music business, it was the station up here. It was all anyone listened to. I mean, it was just the gospel. Really, the only radio station you listened to was KSAN. If any of our music ever came out, we were listening to it, and we heard it on KSAN, and we were very excited. Uh, what I loved about KSAN was I could listen to the radio at any time and then learn things. It seemed like nobody sounded like anybody else. Everybody was doing something else. I was actually in school just listening to the radio. KSAN had groupies. I mean, that was kind of a new thing to me that you were so popular that you had people who wanted to come up and hang out. We had an amazing audience listening to us. It was astonishing. It wasn't just hippies hanging out and smoking dope. It was professionals of every kind. The little kids are going to school, their parents dress differently, they have different ideals, they have different mores, they are not prejudiced, they believe in civil rights, they believe in women's rights, and it was a good place for kids to be able to listen and go, hey, my parents aren't crazy, there's others just like them. I was my own music director, engineer, announcer. How does it get any better than that? Yeah, it was great. I had joined the circus. Everybody I knew listened to KSAN. KSAN 95, the most fun you can have with your clothes on. You have a remarkable mouth. We have a remarkable radio station. KSAN.